the equipment you are seeing behind is uh, the Camby recycler. The Camby conventionally has been a Siba suction come jetting machine. By itself an innovation because it, it enabled a sewer man to clean a sewer, de-choke and de-silt a sewer without man entry. Going further now, what one realizes is that in doing so, the jetting component when deployed required fresh water, which as most of you will agree is a very scarce commodity. To be able to use or avoid the use of fresh water, this is a huge step forward. This enables a ULB or a contractor to suck in sewer water on board, separate silt from the water, use the water, filter the water and then use the same water for jetting wherein the inbuilt filters separate the physical impurities to the extent that a jetting pump is able to handle this water. Further, the jetting pump is also an improvised version from the conventional jetting pump. This is called the recycling series of jetting pumps, which is built to handle uh, water that is being filtered rather than portable drinking water. This is enabled, uh, this pump is capable of using this water for jetting and thereby saving not just time for refilling of tanks, but also consumption of water. So with this machine deployed for desilting, one can almost work work for four to five hours at a stretch. Desilt is complete sewer line from chamber to chamber, and thereafter move to the next line instead of taking intermittent breaks for either emptying the wastewater tank or filling the freshwater tank. How the recycler works. The high pressure water hose with a sewer flushing nozzle is fed into the soil sewer line. The high pressure water jet dislodges the dirt and flushes it back to manhole chamber. At the same time, water jet pushes the hose further into the sewer. The water slurry mixture flushed into the chamber is sucked into the sludge tank through the suction boom inlet port. The heavy particles settle to rear of the tank allowing the rest of the slurry mixture to pass through the first separation stage consisting of an anti-slushing wall or a flip wall which is positioned so as not to allow bigger particles to come in contact with the second stage filter. The second stage filter unit is designed to be installed inside the tank without affecting the overall size of the equipment. The recycling unit will filter at a flow rate of up to 200 litre per minute of water thanks to the combined action of two filters in series with different filtration grades. The first filter called coarse filter able to filter up to 700 micrometer combined with a second filter with filtrating capacity up to 50 micrometer. The different phases of filtration are gross filtration Filtration from outside inwards. It is equipped with a pre-loaded Springs Polyzin Scrapper. Cyclonic filtration. Plastic made cyclones are capable of handling water up to 100 litre per minute each. Filtration takes place due to centrifugal force created by the cyclones. Floating diffuser filtration. Recycled water is conveyed into the front compartment for easy cleaning. The floating diffuser prevents the creation of turbulences inside the recycled water compartment and simultaneously limits the foaming phenomena. Clean water compartment baffle filtration. Inside the clean, recycled water compartment, baffle separates the water suction area from the recycled water loading area. The aim is to settle the heaviest particles on the bottom of the tank and simultaneously to force the lightest particles to float on the loading side. Clarified water, now suitable for the pumping, passes from the below the baffle and is ready to be recirculated. In order to stop the recycled water loading into the tank, a sensor is installed. Floating suction arm. The floating suction arm ensures that clean water is supplied to jetting pump. Boom arm. The Camby Recycler's boom arm is operated by a hydraulic system and is specially designed to perform rotary 
extension and up down operations he also provide a wireless remote as well as manual override features to reach the desired location easily hose reel a hydraulically operated swing out type hose reel drum assembly is located on the tank rear dish end it features 180 degree hydraulic or manual swing out the drum is designed to have enough hose storage capacity. It can store up to 120 meter of a 1 inch diameter thermoplastic high pressure jetting hose. Control Panel The control panel is compact and is designed with less switches. You can watch actual operations through the animation on the screen. Drive System All operations in the Canby Recycler are hydraulically driven which will save the maintenance costs due to less running parts. Recyclers will help save water, fuel and money. Water due to requirement of a mere one-time initial fill and rest of the time recycled drain water. Fuel due to the elimination of the non-productive filling cycles and continuous jetting and suction operations until the debris tank is full. Money due to its compatibility of running continuously resulting in increased productivity.